Hi guys, Crystal Davis for Distinction Real Estate. Hey, we're live today. We're going to talk about market shift, what that means, how it affects you as a homeowner or future homeowner, what it's doing, and why it's different than just a normal fall shift. So let's get right into it. I've got some bullet points here. I don't want to miss anything. I'm pretty passionate about this topic. So market shift you can think of real estate just like the stock market. It goes up, it goes down, it levels out. That's going to happen. So that's the first thing you need to know about real estate. We've been on this high bubble, you know, um, and we talked about it several times in my live videos. Everything's going fast, fast, fast. Multiple offers, um, you know, riders so that you get the house because you have the next highest offer, things like that. And people were fighting for housing. We did that for the last two years, and um, we've chatted about how that was a lot. I have not been live because I really didn't have any content to bring you, but this is pretty profound for you to know. Um, the market shift is happening. If an agent tells you that it's not, hey Jen, an agent tells you that it's not and everything is the same and we're climbing, 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 we just slowed down because of winter, then I would challenge you to challenge them to check the numbers. So we'll start this conversation by talking about Chesterfield. I use them as a bullet point because the Chesterfield zip codes have acreage, have luxury homes, and have entry-level homes. So Chesterfield, for an example, uh, 90 days ago, so we're talking September, October-ish, 90 days ago, the days on market were 70 days on market. Okay, great. That was a good place to be, especially for fall. Things were still moving. Now, 90 days later, today, the days on market for Chesterfield are in the 120s, so close to double. That's not your typical shift. Your typical fall slowdown, you slow down 10, 20 days on market, maybe 30, but we're in